Previously on Flavor of Love. Boy, am I feeling love. Wow, hot lantern. Play needs to see me for me. When I love, I love her. It's like I've seen you somewhere before. She just totally lied, but I was going to find a way to break her. I thought I'd seen you on television before either she I don't owe anybody any expression unless you ask me, Play. These are some crazy bitches that we're dealing with. Oh, gravy. Love you, baby. Your time is up. Thank you. One time, ladies. Flavor, flavor! Congratulations. I'm so glad you didn't get rid of me. Oh. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of you either. And you know what? What's up? You gotta get some time out of me. Uh, I will. I haven't spent any. I know, not really. None. So after eliminations, I decided to spend a little one-on-one -on -one time with Buns. Uh, Back at dang up. Uh, so come on, let's go uh, talk. Uh, She went for a night count with Flav. Okay, whoopie do, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. <sighs> I hate this hoe. Buns just want to get under somebody's ass. You just ready to bend over. I couldn't wait to get with you. I'm glad. It makes me feel real good. Do you know how many motherfuckers around here right now is hating? Oh my God, they're like throwing up, they so oh. mad. I like Buns because Buns is cool, you know what I'm saying? You're the first girl. You know, my bad. Really? Yeah. That's fly. I like that. The girls definitely need to watch out for me and that and none of the other girls have been um, in my situation. Overall and all, I had a great time. She was sweet and everything. And Flavor Flav loves to cuddle. He was here for him. You know what I mean? That's that's the number one. Because she was here for him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling at this point that myself and the twins are really the only ones here for Flav, and that has shown that that's the only reason why we're in the house. The ex they need to be busted on bad. And she lied to him on elimination night. She yeah. said that there was nothing else that was going to come up. BX, she lied about being on Fair Fact that she claimed to be on three years ago. What else is she lying and hiding about? BX, has to go. You're a liar, and you need to be exposed. Operation focused. Ladies, come on down, please. I see all the ABCs and one, two, threes all over the place, and I'm looking at this set like, damn, we're going to have to babysit somebody's kids. Hello, ladies. Hi, Clay. Now, check this out. I'm gonna split you guys up into teams of three. I got some costumes for y'all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give each team a chance to write a bedtime story for kids about the costume that you're wearing. I need a girl that's creative. A girl that can take good care of the kids and a girl that can take good care of daddy. You got one hour. And when I come back, I'm coming back with some of my friends. So you know what I say? Get busy. The winning team of the bedtime challenge gets a date with your man tomorrow. And the teams are 18. Shy. Please, God, give me a good team. Give me the twins. Give me Sincere. Give me somebody. We got good thinkers in the group. Miami. Buns. Buns? Oh, no, man. Team B, Sincere. Season. Hot Atlanta. I am dreading this challenge because kids are mean as hell. BX. T1 and T2, and plaster. So ladies, on that note, you ready? Let's roll. Everybody trying to see what costumes, you know, so it was a real hectic. But I know I want that donkey outfit. Her costume? Yeah, it's like a maiden or something. Mermaid costume. costume. When I find out that Seasons and Sincere are on my team, I'm just hoping that they don't get into a cat fight because we've got a challenge to do and get accomplished. We gotta name it, like name the like. I'm, of course, I'm gonna start off a long, long time ago in a beautiful land or something called. West. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta say stuff that's funny. 
We can't tell four-year-olds about breasts, though. I know. Me and Helena, of course, were on the same page. But Sincere wants to incorporate curse words. And that's when I just completely wanted to just take her by the neck, just shake her. You ho, where's my dough? <laughs> it's frustrating. So, like, once upon a time in a land far away, we all agreed that I would be the narrator. And I have two kids, so I know how to read children's books. Yeah. Like, boy, think girls. You got to be in it. Like, you got to whisper it. We really believe in it. Yeah. Whisper it, because kids like to do like no. this. One. You better step your game up, bitch, because this time, if I lose this one, I'm about to fight somebody. Read to my three-year-old all the time. I know you do. I'm not denying. I just want to make sure we pump for it. Yeah. Shy was trying to really put a lot of pressure on me saying that, you know, if you don't get this ride, we're going to lose. Because we got to win this challenge. Okay. Because now they know what time it is. Even though we don't like the acts, she want to be an actress. So we took advantage of it. They have to fix my feet. How y'all going to walk? Left, right, left? Y'all figured out how y'all going to walk? Left, right, left. So I think we, we got this. I think yeah. we got it. We're going to win this, y'all. We're going to win this, y'all. Ladies. You got five minutes to complete your final touches and meet me downstairs in the foyer. Like, hi everybody, I'm Princess of All Hands. Yeah, I got the white girl Can thing. Can anyone say hi? I can do the white girl thing. Hi. You got to keep the kids involved. We was like, you know what? Before we finish the story, let's just see how you sound. So me and Shai stand back and let her do her narrator part. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a beautiful fairy who floated around gumdrop land, making gumdrops appear in boys and girls' hands. Okay, let me show you how to you read, read it. it. I'm like, okay. what? Give me that motherfucking book. How are you going to be a narrator to little kids out there reading like that? I don't even believe you. Hi, boys and girls. My name is Princess of All Candyland. They could make or break our shit right now and no whatever. No offense taken. I, they need to switch. Yes, I got her witch costume on. Yes, she got her costume on. But they got to switch because Buns ain't doing her job. Hey, girls, come on down. How to win, y'all? Oh, yeah, we the first ones up. Go, 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 go. Make sure you be like, yeah. Okay, give me the damn dress. <laughs> Hold on. I am. You stripped her dress down. When we tried to take her dress down, she was like, no, y'all, I got it. I got it. For some reason, she was insecure. Okay, how's my hair, guys? Ladies, the time is up. They basically got me undressed and dressed themselves. The whole time I'm hollering, I need to put on, you know, some full bottoms. You know, I'm not kind of comfortable, even though the dress was to my knees. But, you know, we didn't have time. So basically, I was out of luck. Hey, your time's up. I need a bobby pin. Coming up. You guys ready for a flavor of love bedtime story? Yeah, that story was kind of crazy. And then. And later. Here come double trouble. Keep your finger out of my face. I'm not gonna slap you right now. Who would slap you? Do what? Miami. We didn't say that. She said y'all did. Time is up. Well, Shy and Miami decided that they wanted to switch outfits because Shy wanted to be the narrator. So I said, okay, I'll be the witch, no problem. So we'll work it out. Check this out. Remember I told y'all that I wanted y'all to meet some of my friends? Well, guess what? Now you're going to meet my friends. Yo, kids, come on in. Today, I got the girls writing bedtime stories for a group of kids. The winning team of the bedtime challenge gets a date with your man tomorrow. Listen, I want y'all to help me out on something, okay? They got my ladies here that made some stories for us, okay? So I want us to sit and I want us to enjoy these stories, all right? And then y'all gonna help me pick out which one is the best story, okay? The reason why I'm using these kids to help me judge is the kids give you the right reactions that you really need. The reason why is because they're kids. They know what they like. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna go back to my seat. <laughs> Hi, everybody. The name of our story is Flav's Playhouse. The name of the story is called Flav's Playhouse. I ain't gonna lie, but you know what? I have some pretty, pretty interesting things going on in my playhouse. The twins 
horse costume? It's kind of crazy. Boy, did they have the kids' attention. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Ponytail Penny. It was a nice and sunny day in L.A., and all she wanted to do was go somewhere and play. So BX was reading our story really slow, like, hurry up, Grandma. What are you doing? She walked and she moped. She tried to jump rope. Guess what? Our narrator does not know how to read. Doesn't she know the attention span of a kid is like that? Hurry up! She stayed on course. BX, why are you reading so slow? The horse turned around. Pick up the pace. So they walked and they rolled all the way to flames. The end. was so mad, but because of the horse's outfit, I think we really have a good chance I of winning. I think we nailed it. Yeah. Alright, next team up, Seasons, Hylanta, and Sincere. Hello, boys and girls. How are you? So, we go out on stage. I'm a little nervous because with Sincere, she sucks in everything. When I tell you to bang on the pot, you're gonna bang on the pot. Bang on the pot! Perfect, perfect. The second team up, they had it going on. They had pots and pans for the kids to bang on. This is the tale of the mermaid and the two pirate sisters. Yo, Hylanta, she was looking kind of good in that mermaid suit. Now, I ain't going to lie, but I will swim 84,000 miles with Hylanta. She played with the dolphins, not knowing that trouble was headed her way. Really mean one saw the mermaid swimming so freely. <gasps> She's so mean, look at her. She's so mean. Only problem is that Sincere looked kind of stupid. So me and Seasons pretty much stepped up and took over. So really nice one devised a plan. She'd wait till Willie Mean One went to bed and released the beautiful mermaid's hands. Who wants to help me release her hands? Who wants to help me? Come on, right here. So we're gonna, come on, come on, come on. That's right, come on. I grabbed one of the little boys out the crowd, kept them interested, had him help out with freeing the mermaid. Sincere did an awful job. I just think she could have stepped her game up a little bit better. I hate to toot my own horn, but I feel like I've definitely saved that challenge. Come on, y'all, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Woo. Next team up. It's gonna be Shy, Miami, and Buns. We here we go. They call our group out. I'm like, all right, bitch, you better not fuck up. Hey! How are you, boys and girls? I said, how are you, boys and girls? That's good. Are you guys ready for a flavor of love bedtime story? I'm like, okay, here we go. I feel like I got this narrated stuff. I got a mouthpiece. I'm going to get these kids hyped. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a beautiful fairy making gumdrops appear in boys' and girls' hands. So next, she introduces me, the gumdrop fairy. So I come out and drop the kids, their gumdrops, and they chewing, they're happy. At this point, I'm like, we're going to win this challenge. There lived a wicked witch from the West. <gasps> oh, don't get scared now. So she flew around with peanut butter on her broom ah! to keep you guys' mouth shut. Everybody duck down, duck down, duck down. Ah! Oh my God, she got peanut ah! butter on her broom. Yeah, their story was kind of crazy. Their story had a witch in there with a broom. And on the end of the broom was peanut butter. What kind of witch flies around with peanut butter on her broom? Wicked Witch disappear! Wicked Witch disappear! While the fairy was waving the ducks near, the witch started to melt and finally disappear. Buns was showing her buns, and the kids started pointing up, up under her skirt. <laughs> I think 
your buns might have scarred them for life. The end! Yeah! Now being that the bedtime stories are over, it's time for the kids to vote. We like, yes, yeah. We nailed it. We got the kids involved. It is on. It's popping. I'm going to win my date. All right, kids. I'm going to get you guys to help me pick the winner of the best story, okay? The first story had the horse, right? I don't know what this story was about, but all I know is it had a big old horse in there. The kids, they kind of liked the horse. It was kind of funny. Now, the second story had the pirate. Bang on the pot! Did y'all like that story? I mean, the story was in the middle. Kind of good, kind of bad. Wow, that's deep right there. The third story had the witch. Wicked witch disappear! Huh? I saw the witch's butt. I saw the witch's booty, too. I saw the witch's butt, too. I asked him about Team 3. They didn't really give up that much chair at all because Buns was showing her Buns. I didn't care, but the kids did dope. The kids did dope. Next time, we gonna make them wear longer dresses, okay? Y'all did a good job. Come on, guys, let's go, come on. I think all of the girls did a good job at being under pressure. Now it's time to get the results. Ladies, come on in. Ladies, I just want to say, you all did a good job, first of all. Team number one, I'm going to tell you, kids really enjoyed y'all, you know what I'm saying? You got the donkey thing going on the whole nine. Team number two, you like the pot thing going on. Team number three, the kids, man, was like the witch. The witch, they seen your butt, witch. Oh. <laughs> We're like, what? Are you serious? They kind of liked the story, but they couldn't really get into the story too much because it was into your butt, you know what I'm saying? When Flav said that they saw my buns, I was kind of embarrassed. And I was like, OK, yeah, the kids were sitting on the floor, so I should have thought about that. But, you know, it just kind of slipped my mind in the moment. So the winners. It's team one. Yeah! When we found out that we won, I was too happy because I was like, yes, finally, I won a challenge. I won a date. So you didn't have no panties on under your pants? Yes, I did. It ain't my fault that we lost. Get over it. Shy and Miami just basically start going off, how it's my fault we lost. And basically, I'm just not trying to hear it. We win as a team, we lose as a team. Last minute, y'all threw me in this get up. I didn't have time to go change. You didn't say, oh, shit, I ain't got no time. You didn't say you yes, didn't have time. I did. We going off on her ass. Why would you do that? Well, we didn't have time. We switched costumes at the end. You know, we lost a okay, couple ass. OK, well, what the fuck ever. When they started trying to run their mouths and be the bossy bitches that they are, I just wasn't feeling it. I wanted this challenge as bad as they did, so I don't think they should have came down on me. Shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! I ain't letting it go. You're going to apologize to disrespecting Flav's house, Flav women, and me in Miami, our group. I ain't shutting the fuck up. This said in my face! Coming up. I do want to owe an apology because of the way y'all came at her. I ain't apologize for that shit, Flay. Fuck that. And later. Like, you still wasn't honest with him. You're a star effort, and you're going to be exposed. You didn't try for no magazine or anything. This is what we're saying. Your sympathy sucked. And we didn't appreciate you going upstairs cussing us the fuck out. We don't want that law. We were so mad because we had that fucking contest. It was in our hands. And it got snatched away. I said that I needed to put some full coverage underwear on. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. I wanted to win just like y'all. I didn't mean to do it. I think I gave him a apology. You know, I said I'm sorry for, you know, the part I played in it. Just so they'd leave me the hell alone because I was just over it. It's not about what you say, it's how you say it. You don't get an attitude about, well, I'm sorry. Bam. Don't bring your apology to me if you're not for real. Fuck it, keep your apology. You are going to be sorry because you out of here. I walk <laughs> through the kitchen and they're like, uh, you're not even going to say anything? I'm like, no. You know what you do? You go like this to him. 
I felt bad for Buns because I know how it feels to be picked on. I'm telling her, brush these bitches off. Get the fuck over it, you sore loser. Hurry up, come on, we're about to push you down and talk to shit real quick. We need to go out there and confront her. Because Bun's sympathy was not nothing to us. It was like, oh, well, I'm sorry, get over it. You owe us one, bitch. You owe me one. Dumbass hoe, you so damn dumb. You I just make some ass so stupid on me. Here come Double Trouble, Miami and Shop. They are pissed off. Why y'all coming at me? Because you didn't even apologize right. What do I need to apologize You need for? to say, I'm sorry. The only reason that we lost because of your butt was shown. The girls wanted me to apologize to them, and it really was over-exaggerated. It was made to be more than what it was. So we lost because Fabulous. of you. Fabulous. The dress was knee-length. I had on fishnet stockings, and I was wearing underwear. They are basically just blowing this completely out of proportion. I had on a thong, but, but I didn't have full bottoms on. That's what Whatever. I said. No, I didn't have full bottoms on. Put that cigarette in your mouth. Oh, my God. Keep what you do best. Keep shit in your mouth and shut up. So they just start going off, call me a whore, saying I'm only good for blowing on things. If he needs something to fuck, baby, he gonna hit it. Keep it moving. Keep, matter of fact, keep it blowing like you like, you like to do. They made the insinuation that she had given Flav fellatio, and I was like, I don't believe that. Keep you don't even know me. Keep it, you don't, I don't know give nothing I know enough about I don't have to know me. about you. Keep your finger out of my face. Miami did not flat out say, you suck Flav's dick, but the way she implied it, anybody with any kind of common sense knows what the hell she was talking about. She don't care because she had her night with Flav. That's all she's thinking about. Hey, what's going on, boss? What's up, boo? What's the deal? I just wanted to let you know what you really got in your house, because they're not going to play me like no fucking whore up in here. Shy in Miami. Calling me a whore, saying I was giving you blowjobs, basically. I did not say that. Uh, who is that? Miami and Shy. Talking about uh, at least Ray, talking about she gonna slap me and everything if I wasn't on this show. Who would slap you? Do what? Miami. Talking about if I wasn't on this show, I'd slap you in your face. It was important for me to let Flav know what she said. And so, you know, he was kind of feeling like, okay, well, you know, maybe Miami is not who she tends to be. Wow. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, Hi. Buns. So I know who the hell Buns is. I'm sorry to intrigue. Shy. Yeah. Miami. I'm sorry. I just want to tell her I told you what I had to say. I don't have beef with nobody in the house. But I just feel like you didn't apologize to us. And you just be like, you know what? Damn, I'm fucked. Yeah, I understand. I but at the up. same time, if you going to come at me like that, me, my feelings, how I am, I'm gonna come right back at you like and that. That's not, you know, if you wanted me to come at you like that, I just wanted you should have came at me like that. I just wanted you to. You know what I say? I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna be the mediator. You're doing an owe an apology because of the way y'all came at her. Blade was like, you owe Buns an apology. We almost said, what? A apology for what? There's a certain way you talk to people about a situation to get the situation solved. Buns told me that Miami and Shy talking about how she gave me a blowjob. That really pissed me off because, man, that would never go down. We didn't say she did that. She said y'all did. Coming up. Be honest with him. If you know uh -huh. something, you tell me what I try to. Be as clearly told us that she's in the entertainment circle. You model, yeah. that's what you do. Did not I tell you that, Flav? BX is more interested in being on TV than for her man, Flav. And later. Sincere. Only called your name. I didn't tell you to come get your clock. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought she was getting the clock. You doing an owe an apology because of the way y'all came at her. Buns told me that Miami and Shy talking about how she gave me a blowjob. We didn't say she did that. She said y'all did. They said that they never said that. But Buns is saying that they did. I just said, go ahead and blow the cigarettes out. Go ahead. What you do best. You know, I mean, and we didn't say you played. I got a feeling Buns is giving out the wrong signals and the wrong information. And that pissed me off. But I'm going to get out of it right now because Thanks. you said one thing to me that they said, but yet I'm finding out they really didn't say that. She was like, well, rah, rah, rah. Miss Piggy wanted to sing at that moment. Ooh, I didn't say play. Man, whatever. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You ready to 
get this day started? Yes. On that note, here's your flavor gram for today. Good morning, ladies. Prancer, BX, Thing 1, and Thing 2. Today, we're going to turn up the heat on the dance floor. Get yourselves dressed and meet me in the Great Hall in one hour. Love, Don Flavio. We get the flavor gram today, and it says that we're going to be dancing. So I'm happy and I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm curious, because you can never tell with Flav. We're going dancing. We're going dancing. So y'all don't know how to dance. <laughs> oh. Outfit that I had on, it was kind of crazy. I was looking like a black Ricky Ricardo. Hi. Today, I got a real special date planned. I'm taking the girls dancing, and they're going to like this. This way. Flavor, flavor. Yes, sir. Ha-ha! So we walk in, and all of a sudden, we hear this music, and it's a live salsa band. And there's a professional couple doing their little salsa moves on the dance floor. They were really good, too. Nice! Yeah! Wow! Ah, incredible! Wow. Incredible! Can y'all teach me how to do that? <laughs> of course. Just like that. First, we had to take lessons. You're gonna place your right hand on her lower back like this. Okay. A guy was teaching me lessons. It felt so funny dancing with a guy. One, two, three, march in place. Five, six, seven, and start all over again. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and... So here. I see thing one, and thing two, and boy, was they looking hot. It was looking real sexy, G. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> so, come on. Wow. So, let's see. So, grab one of the ladies. So, now it's time to dance with the girls. Y'all felt real good dancing with the girls. We got kind of close. We started to put our hips into it. And I ain't gonna lie, but the grind was on my mind. Ha, ha, ha. I got you. Nachos, they look good. The salsa dancing, but they have to have a nice lunch, right? Hey, twins. Yes, sir. How y'all doing? Good. Huh? Good. Good. My sister and I feel like that'll be a perfect opportunity to bust out BX in front of Flav. I feel that, you know, what made me mad, I felt like you still wasn't honest with him when he asked you if you did anything else. You know, I didn't you, do anything else. Not the modeling stuff or the no. acting and all that stuff. No. The twins started getting on BX about her being a model and wanting to be here for just TV and all of that. She might not be here for your man Flav. And if that's the case, that's not good. You didn't try for no magazine or anything. BX clearly told us that she's in the entertainment circle. With Alicia Keys, J Lo. Mm -hmm. L. Cool J and Missy and all oh, of them. I'm Usher and Mary J. Blige. You're a star effort and you're going to be exposed. No, it was, I didn't model for a magazine. I was trying out because my girlfriend works, I'd say it a million times, for celebrities. If she hears something, she'd be like, Tawana, I think it'd be good for you. Like when I got on, when I signed up for the show. Who would have known that, you know, I was going to be chosen? I started thinking, is it true? Is it true? Could be true, but I hope it ain't true. Cause I like BX. I like BX. Yeah. I was a promotional model. I told Flavor, he I got a picture with him in the business. You didn't bring it up. It's so. nothing extra because he knew that already. You were a promotional model. He motto. knew that already. Okay. Flav, stop me if I'm lying, please. BX, I ain't gonna lie, she's a strong girl, but still and all, it seemed like there was something funny about the situation. I would like to um, keep this date on expansion. We gotta get back to the mansion. Okay. After lunch, it's time to head back to the mansion because this is elimination night. Hey, Andre! Oh, Andre! Wow! By the time I got back to the mansion, I said to myself, I got things to think about because tonight is elimination. I'll see y'all in a minute, okay? Listen, Big Rick. Yes, sir. I need you to do me a favor, bro. I need you to get Miami mm -hmm. and Shy 
Get them here now. I need to talk to them. So before eliminations, I had to go round up a few of my girls and have some one-on-ones with them so I could find out exactly what am I going to do tonight with eliminations. So, uh, ladies, what's poppin'? Talk to your man. I know, you know what I'm saying, we already let you know about buns. It's just that you got to be a woman and say, you know what, Flav, I lied and actually said them exact words, and I just took what they said and turned it around. Buns got to go, you know what I'm saying? Because I said I'm a smacker for lying on my men. Don't you lie, motherfucking Flav. Liar. Fat-ass piggy. Liar. Fat, stank-ass cat bitch. Liar. Either I said it or you did You can take it away. you want to take it, but you know I didn't say that. Miami and Shy started launching off on Buns, telling me how Buns was a liar and how Buns took their words and twisted it all around to make them look bad. Wow. Hi. Flav seems a little concerned that the story might have got twisted between me and Miami. And I was a little tipsy, so I might have got a few little details wrong. As far as they said, all I'm good for is blowing. They didn't put your name in it, but Miami said, if do anything if you put it in front of his face. He gonna love ass regardless. If he needs something to fuck, baby, he gonna hit it. And if you gonna give it away, he gonna take it. Keep it moving. And you can run the tape back on that one. Buns told me Miami was really the fake one, and all Miami be doing is putting on a big front. Well, only when you gotta worry about is Flav. Get ready for eliminations. I like Buns, but your man Flav and Flav is kinda confused. I don't really know who to believe right about now. BX. Hey, What's up, baby? So my plan with BX is to see if she had anything else to tell me for elimination. All of this shit, right? About you doing all of this entertainment shit. Is there anything else that I should know that I couldn't know about? I'm not coming here to talk about nobody. But I know young Jack. I've met 50. Me, you know, I done been around Penny Hardaway, Stefan Marbury. My aunt works for G-Unit. She's like a stylist for G-Unit. My aunt. Wow. That's, that's what I do. This is what I'm around. Or I can't help who I know. I can't help that if you see me out on the street, you'll be like, BX. Full explanations? Is there anything else? No, it's nothing that you've extra. Done that I need to know? Nothing extra. On that note, say no more. These girls gave me plenty of things to think about. And this right here is going to be a very, very difficult decision for your man. But you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Coming up. Night, I was going to send two people home. But after all of the things that went on last night. Every elimination is so tense. So, the night. in this house but I feel very confident that I will be sticking around for the simple fact that our connection today was great right now I'm pissed off still about stank corroded puss ass buns she needs an out of order sign on her butt I'm really unsure tonight because it's just been so much going on with last night kind of you know, don't know if Flav's believing me or believing the other girls or what's going on. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, Flav. Before I get into my elimination ceremony, just want y'all to know, tonight, I was going to send two people home. But after doing the one-on-ones, one person came through, clarified some things. So, tonight, I'm only going to send one. My first clock tonight is going to... Seasons, come get your clock. Yeah, bitch, I got my clock and you don't. Ah. You know what time it is. I felt sick, I really did, at the fact that that bitch had a clock around her neck. My number two clock goes to Hot Atlanta. I am so relieved because I did not want to go through that anxiety of waiting to hear my name called. So once I got my clock, I'm like, <sighs> You know what time it is. Wow. 
Seven bodies, six clocks. All I can say is, if I get sent home tonight, it's got to be somebody's fault. My third clock is going to go to Miami. Come get your I clock. That's right, baby. <laughs> When Miami got her clock, I was kind of pissed off because she's a sore loser. I know what time it is. My fourth clock tonight goes to shy. Thing one, thing two, come get your clock. Come on, ladies. <laughs> hey, your prancer, you know what? Come get your clock. I got two clocks, Rick. Yes, sir. Two clocks, one, two, three bodies. I'm extremely nervous. I'm just hoping that he calls my name so I can breathe again. This next clock. Sincere, come step to me. You know what time it is. One clock left, two bodies. Before I give away this next clock. I just want to say that if you come to me with information, all I ask is for information to be accurate and factual. Bonds? I'm looking at these bitches like, I look better than all y'all. There's no way I could be going home right now. I only called your name. I didn't tell you to come get oh. your clock. Ah, ha, ha. Her ass is a goner. I only called your name. I didn't tell you to come get oh. your clock. Slave called my name and I thought he called me up, so I just walked up there. You want me to go back to the stage? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, ah, ha, ha. Thought she was getting the clock. Go on, Piggy, go on back there and oink your ass back until I call you up, you fat slob. Because I was just speaking on all of the things that went on last night and how you made the mistake and gave me information that really wasn't all that accurate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, BX, come step to me, baby. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm just like an emotional wreck, to be honest. Now, you did clarify some things to me tonight about all of this talk that's going on with you, star searching. And in the room, I asked you, is that everything that you come clean? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. When you left me, I went to the internet. Wow. BX? All of a sudden, Flav pulls out this piece of paper. Everybody's looking at each other like no one really knows what's going on. You didn't tell me he was on Oprah Winfrey's show as Usher's biggest fan. <laughs> And you didn't tell me that you and Usher went out on a nice, cozy date. Usher is a nice guy. Usher is very sweet. That's all I'm going to say. BX, that clock is not for you. We like, okay, we already knew about some of this stuff. But, but that, that was a slap in the face. We knew friend. she was a star effort. Your time is up. Okay. I can't help who I know, and I don't explain myself to nobody. So if I'm star searching, then damn it, I'm star searching. 
I was like, I'm not a fan of yours. I'm a fan of Usher. I love Usher to death. I love Oprah. So if someone did something nice for me, it had to do with Oprah and Usher, then that's my business. I wasn't stressing nothing. And I'm not stressing you either. It's cool. Love you, baby girl. Love you too. I like BX. BX is my girl. But you know what, though? She wasn't really here for Flav. Time is up. Flav, be careful. These bitches is gonna kill you if they don't kill each other first. Now, Bonds, I just want to say to you, for the future, if you ever do give me information, Bonds, let your information be accurate. Now, come get your clock, Bonds. Oh, come on, somebody give me a break. The last clock that I gave away, it was to run. Because I don't know, is this stuff true or are they just playing on your man? This is for my girl, BX. I think as far as this girl trying to make me look like I'm a slut, I think it's going to come to the light. If not, they can try all they want. And I think they need to come with something better. Congratulations, ladies. Flavor, flavor. Next time on Flavor of Love. I need a lady that's classy, hot, she gotta have smarts, uh, and she gotta be able to rescue me. I feel that I'm the perfect person for Flavor. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Hello. She was Miami that she owed me a thousand dollars. Who is this? She got crazy stock with guys calling the house. What do you say? I don't know, it's just a, a guy. I gotta get you to the bottom of this. How did this person know you're here? I don't know. I don't think you telling me everything. My He's like, bitch, I know where you stay at, and you're gonna be in for one. This shit is serious. That a motherfucker is calling my crib. I have issues with that. Hallelujah, flavor, what's a girl? Like you praise the Lord. Ha <laughs> ha, praise the Lord.